I'm Congressman Alan Grayson. I want to explain why the current debate about foreign trade is the key to a better future for you and everyone you care about. Trade is a simple concept. You sell me yours and I'll sell you mine. At least that's the way it used to be. I can remember when our food, our clothing, our cars, our TVs, our appliances and the homes we lived in all were made in America, proudly made in America. In the old days, the production worker who made an American refrigerator took his paycheck and paid the rent. His landlord went to a restaurant, ordered a good meal, and left a nice tip. The waiter who served the meal saved up and he bought that refrigerator. That's how our economy worked and that's how it thrived. Ordinary working people made enough money to afford a house, a car. They earned paid sick leave, health coverage, and a pension and they could pay for their children's college education. And they didn't have to worry that they could lose all of that overnight. But that's not the way things are today. Today, that American production worker, that landlord, and that waiter are all out of work. We've lost five million American manufacturing jobs and maybe 15 million other jobs during the past 20 years. What happened 20 years ago to change that? To ruin the middle class life that so many Americans enjoy. The North American Free Trade Agreement is what happened. NAFTA happened. Since NAFTA took over our lives, day after day, month after month, and year after year, Americans have bought trillions of dollars of goods and services produced by foreigners, but those foreigners have not bought an equal amount of goods and services produced by Americans. Not even close. In fact, these days, it's often hard just to find products that say, made in America. The difference between what we buy from them and what we sell to them, the trade deficit, has exploded. And that explosion has blasted the American middle class. Here are the numbers, and the numbers don't lie. For the past 14 years, our average annual trade deficit has been over half a trillion dollars. That's a deficit of more than $1,500 each and every year for every man, woman, and child in this country. This is not free trade. This is fake trade. I invite you to look back across history, all the way back to the Stone Age. I invite you to look all across planet Earth, that beautiful blue marble, all 193 nations, all seven continents. You will find that the 14 largest trade deficits in the history of mankind, all of them, are the U.S. trade deficits for the last 14 years. Here on the left was our trade balance between 1962 and 1992 before so-called free trade agreements. And here on the right, our trade balance since then. What sane person could look at these two charts and conclude that what America needs is more free trade? Today, we're creating millions, no, tens of millions of jobs in other countries with our purchasing power while we're losing millions of jobs here in America because people in other countries are buying their own goods and services rather than ours. They're not creating jobs in America, but they're buying our assets, our stocks, our bonds, our mortgages, our homes, our farms, our coastlands, our big businesses, and our small businesses. Our debt to foreigners right now already totals more than $35,000 for every man, woman, and child in America. Already, one-seventh of all of the assets of our great nation, the result of two centuries of backbreaking labor and sacrifice, one-seventh of the assets in our nation are now owned, already owned, by foreigners. And ultimately, if we keep going the way we're going, they all will be. Because of fake trade, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And the end game? The end game is the end of America. Listen, we are in a deep, deep hole thanks to fake trade. A British minister once popularized what he referred to as the first law of holes. When you're in a hole, stop digging. Stop digging. We have to stop digging. The price tag already has reached $11 trillion, and it's rising by more than a billion dollars every single day. 
The only ones who have benefited from this treachery are multinational corporations and middle class America has paid the price. It has to end and it has to end now. But right now, the U.S. Trade Representative is seeking fast-track authority for trade agreements. That authority could prohibit congressional subcommittee hearings, subcommittee amendments, committee hearings, committee amendments, and amendments on the floor of the House. It could limit debate to 88 seconds for each member of the House. But that's not the deepest problem. The deepest problem is that it would put America deeper into that already very deep hole. It's the fast track to hell. That's why you have to direct your congressmen and your senators to vote against it. The U.S. Trade Representative also wants Congress to ratify giant new trade agreements, one with East Asia and one with Europe. This trade treachery would put our $30 an hour workers directly in head-to-head -head competition against workers in Vietnam and Brunei who are lucky to make 30 cents an hour. Free trade countries like that are free of health and safety rules and environmental protection, free of social security, pensions, and health care, free of child labor laws, free of the right to organize, and even free of the rules against slave labor. This trade treachery also would give special privileges to foreign corporations that neither American corporations nor any living, breathing human beings enjoy. It would set up special tribunals before the World Bank and the United Nations, populated by corporate lobbyists pretending to be judges, which could then award enforceable judgments against our federal, state, and local governments merely for enforcing our health, safety, and environmental laws. It would give away the sovereignty that our founding fathers fought and died for in exchange for nothing. But there is hope. Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of our lifetime, has offered a plan for liberating us from the trade deficit. He would require importers to obtain certificates for the goods and services they sell us. The charges for those certificates could be used to increase Social Security and Medicare benefits, rebuild our roads and schools, and cut our taxes. I support that plan, and I will be offering legislation to implement it. It is the light at the end of the tunnel for our economy. But for now, it's urgent that we prevent things from getting even worse. Write this number down, 202. 224-3121. Call that number and you can reach your congressmen and your senators. To send an email to them, go to www.house.gov slash representatives slash find and put in your zip code. Tell them no to fast track, no to new trade agreements, and yes to the Buffett plan to reduce the trade deficit. One more important thing. Sign up at tradetreachery.com so that we can keep you posted. And we'll let you know what else you can do to help. It's time to stop digging that hole any deeper. Let's fight back against this scheme that has robbed the American middle class now for decades. Let's fight it and let's defeat it right now while we still can. Let's put our workers back to work, earning a decent day's pay for a decent day's work. Let's heal our economy and heal our nation. Let's show our courage, let's show our unity, let's climb up out of that hole and let's raise ourselves up and let's rebuild the American middle class. I'm Congressman Alan Grayson. If we work together, we can make America a paradise.